on our adventures today. I've got my lovely boyfriend with me here. Well, I'm with him probably because we're in the van. Anyway, we're going to Sandwich Major. We're going for walkies, we are. Not a very long walk, and we're going to have lunch out in a cafe, I think. Nothing too strenuous, just about three miles, isn't it, today? Yeah. Yeah. Well. Are we going to see the seaside? Yeah. Yay. We're in Lantwit Major now, aren't we? Sandwich yeah. Major. And um, it's very pretty around here. Oh, lots of speed humps. We're just looking for the Town Hall car park. contemplating parking in the rail station. Yeah, that's well, see it? if we can, I don't know if we're allowed. We'll find out now, won't we? Oh, he's letting us through. Thanks, mate. And this station is Santwick Major. IB's getting a car soon. His car blew up, didn't it, a while ago, and he's been using a van, <laughs> which is a bit cumbersome, but it's it's been better than nothing, isn't it? Oh, oh, blimey. We're looking for the main road. It is bitterly cold. It's like stinging my face. Are you cold? cold. He's, he doesn't feel the cold like I do. I think it's bitterly cold and it's my head, my scalp is stinging with the cold through the hat. That's how cold I am anyway. Nobody wants to hear me moaning. Beach is that way, apparently. East Street. It's very quiet, isn't it? It is a Sunday, mind, but still, Definitely. things aren't usually that quiet on a Sunday these days. Ooh, IB's looking at the map. We've got a paper map with a coastal walk on it. We need to get onto Burial Lane. There's no street name, so he's resorting to Google Maps already. <laughs> it's ever so beautiful here. Look, look at that old pub there, the old Swan Inn. Very aesthetically pleasing. But here we have the Slantwick Major Town Council office. It looks incredibly interesting to me. I like the weather vane up there. It's a dragon. Ooh, toilets. Excellent. <clears throat> it is beautiful around here. Yeah. So it's... peaceful. Got another church here. Is this St. Ithlid's? Yeah. St. Ithlid's. I'm going to sneak in. Are you have a look in there? I have a little sneaky look here. I found out from watching another channel the other day called Vlog Izzy, funnily enough, that you don't have this in Brazil, apparently. Churches with graves around. What do they have? They just have separate ones. So there we are. Learn something new every day. This looks quite ancient, doesn't it? This part. It said, please come in on the door. So, just coming in. We've popped in, as you can see. Look at that up there. IB keeps spotting things of interest up high. That's one of the things. IB also spotted this really old painting. Look, it's very faded now. 1604. I wonder if that's when it was made. I'm not sure if I'm allowed on the altar, you know, being sacrosanct and all that. These always make me uh, worry about treading on them and wearing them down, but they do get worn down by the footsteps, don't they? Thank you, dear. Welcome to San Ishtid, cradle of Celtic Christianity. This is the place where Ishtid established his great monastic school around 500 AD, Britain's oldest centre of learning. We are now standing in the Galilee Chapel, the new home to these ancient stones. They're dating from the 9th to the 11th century, and they were all found in and around the churchyard here at St Ishtid's. They were largely commissioned by and for the region's kings, noblemen and abbots. They're all that remains of the monastic community that lived here over a thousand years ago. We're gonna head out because we're in danger of using up too much time. Oh, this is lovely. So we've just come out of the church now, passing this rather lovely thing. And we're going up this flight of steps now. <laughs> we're going past the white cottages. Yeah, they look lovely, don't they? And they've got parking. Do we have to climb up here? Oh, oh there's a, a building thingy. Dove cot, is it? Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think that through. No doves in it now. Oh. We found an entrance. I didn't think doves needed a great big door, to be honest. Ancient monument, medieval <laughs> dove cot. <laughs> well, what was the door for then? It would have been like a crown with uh, holes in, you know? Oh, okay. Well, there's not a lot in here now. There should be cavities in the wall for nesting. Oh, is there? Hang on, I'll get me the other camera on the go.
not sure whether it means this. <laughs> We're confused by the map. On the right. <laughs> I, let's see if there's another star. We're gonna. We think we've gone a bit wrong, so we're going back over here and down a bit more. Oh, I've done it again. Gone a funny way. Yeah, we're going to try down there. We've looked over the wall, and there is a path. So. There was mention of a stone stile on the right, which that was, but we're supposed to have gone down the hill before we got to it, haven't we? Yeah. And we haven't gone down a hill, we've gone up a hill, we've gone up a load of steps. So. Yeah, but that's what happens now. Hopefully not too muddy, but we'll see. I reckon we're going to end up in the up. Yeah, maybe. I think we're here at the stile. I can see a bum. Can you see my bum? No, I don't. Oh, I'm just being funny. Well, not even funny, really. So we're going that way. I think we are ending up back in that field, you know, like you suspected. Yeah, so we could have walked straight there. The instructions say we are bearing left to a corner style. So that's what we're keeping our eyes peeled for now. Oh, is that it? Is that corner style is in the corner. Doesn't look very mm -hmm. stylish to me though. Who think that's it's it? So carry on down with a file on your right. More steps. You want to move? There's a little, one of these little bookcase things where you swap the books going this way, as per instructions. I'm very interested in these chimneys here. They're really different <laughs> and all the houses have got them. We're popping down here now. Apparently our route is going to turn into a track because we've, we've been in the streets for a very little while. Come to this bit. Look, the cows all nestled in there. I'm not sure if we've gone the right way. I'm just putting off looking through that. I'm not sure if it's like got cows wee in it, so I don't fancy it. It's not quite harmless. <laughs> oh, gone the wrong way anyway. More specific. Interesting scenery now. Along the way you'll pass Bramble Oh, it says footpath to beach there. Uh, On the thingy, it's a faded sign. Quite near which way? That way. I stopped filming for a bit because I thought, well, you know, don't want to film too much. But anyway, this is what the path looks like now. IB informs me, and IB is in charge of navigation, by the way. He's got the paper map and written instructions. And he tells me that the cafe is on the beach. On the beach? By the beach? Well, by the car park, I think. By the car park. So hopefully, before long, we'll be tucking into some tasty mm -hmm. food and a nice hot drink. Nice hot beverage. <laughs> A tasty beverage. <laughs> <laughs> he sang about that once in one of our vlogs when he was really excited about going to France. I don't know if you remember that. It's, what, it's the ferry one, and he was going, Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, we're going to the services. <laughs> and it sort of went on like that. Tasty beverage. Bridge, yeah. Ah, oh, dear. We see the beach down there. We see the car park. We don't see the cafe yet. And we have lots of hopes that it will be there. <laughs> Otherwise it's a long walk back with no food or drink. Various clues are coming to light. Now we're seeing a building down there and I'm pretty sure there's like a, one of those triangular board things. Uh, and I think that's probably a cafe. I can hear loud music as well, but I don't know if that's coming from a vehicle or a, a cafe. But look, there's a big sort of enclosed area with picnic benches. It must be. It must be. Let's get down there. But how? That's the question. We were wondering how we were going to get down and now we know. We're going to go on these steps. Oh, look, the building's coming into view. Yeah. Food o'clock and a hot coffee. Oh, that'd be lovely. And look at this lovely beach. The tide is a long way out at the moment. I smell chips frying coming out of there. Uh, more public toilets, there's a lifeguard station there as well. I wonder if that's seawater come whooshing over the wall in high tide, you never know. Hey, look, 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 ice creams. Oh, looks like they got all the beach toys, you know, the usual stuff, buckets and spades. What? I have got cash. What, in case I don't take a card? Yeah, I just overheard someone saying it's cash only. But there's a menu anyway. Oh, I don't know. I better do a cash check as well, hadn't I? The napkins. Just give a squeeze. <laughs> Loads of them are blocked off because of social distancing at the moment. 
and I checked about the cash only thing and it is permanent they always only accept cash so if you come down here make sure you bring cash if you want to come here it's because they don't have very good wi-fi and she said it's so intimate and they just can't rely on it I, I'm having a cheese and onion toasty with a little bit of salad on the side and a coffee and Ivy is having pasty and chips and salad and lots of vinegar by the look of it that was absolutely delicious. We've come back up those steps that we came down and we're on the cliff now. So we're walking with the sea and the beach on that side and a load of sticky, branchy, brambly stuff that side. And we've got about two miles left to do. And uh, then we'll be back to where we started again. Over there, we've got St. Donat's Art Centre or Atlantic College, well, and Atlantic College, they're kind of linked. Um, I actually walked by there with Pippa when we walked from Nash Point back in the summer. Pippa of Worm's Eye View Channel. So it's the same bit of coastline. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Look at all the layers that you can see. I love looking at things like that. There's some really quite interesting sort of landscape here. <laughs> Every so often you just come to these amazing vista points. <laughs> Look at those. It's almost as if it's paved, isn't it? What's that, Jurassic Forest or something down there, fossilised? More of these. Oh, I be his photograph. Oh, I see he's photographing me, but I'm not allowed to film him. Oh, how charming. <laughs> We're actually coming up to a bit of a ruin here. Did you think it was something from World War II? A lookout post or something? Pillbox. A pillbox. What's a pillbox exactly? Lookouts with guns were stationed. Oh. They would have had a much heavier machine gun of some sort and maybe two or three troops and some form of communication device too. It's cute to say that, you know, the enemy is coming. It's very low down. Is it partially sunken or is it... Yeah, it's partially sunken. For bomb down, blasting or something. Oh, I see. Oh, you are clever, dear. And there's a blast wall here. So that if there was an explosion, it can't blast in directly into the pillbox. Oh, I see. I'm going to have a quick look around the front of it as well. Since we're here, you get quite a lot of these around the coast of South Wales, don't you? I've come to this point where we have to go over another stone style. Oh, when Pippa was here, she said that she wasn't used to seeing these. Oh, that bird for... I don't know, is it something to do... I.B. was wondering what that marking was for. That one there. Um, I think it's to do with the type of path, isn't it? Is it like an old... Wales Coastal Path sign, that's my guess. I don't know. I don't think so, because there's one on my house. Oh, well, if anybody knows, could you let me know in the comments? We seem to now be walking along a path like this. Wall one side, big field that side. And in this field, it's just loads of these prickly, spiky gorse bushes. Been coming along here. It's got a lot more wooded now. Look at these lovely ferns. And the wall's got a lot higher on this side. And the trees are all gnarly and twisty. And it's not too muddy underfoot. Apparently the route is taking us to a ruin. Oh yeah, I see the ruin. We have an eight step style. Let's just check. One, two, three. There's the ruin by there. We're going past a field full of lovely looking sheep. And here we have the ruin. Now, I.B. thinks, it's his best guess, that this was a house belonging to a sheep farmer at some point, but uh, looking a bit drafty now. Not that much of a leap, really, is it? What, of imagination? Yeah, I mean... Well, I was just giving you a bit surrounded of... Surrounded by sheep. I was giving you a get-out, just in case you were horribly wrong, oh, you know. I could be wrong. I'm not the fond of all knowledge. Oh, you're very fonty. <laughs> you could have said I'm very knowledgeable, but you just <laughs> fond. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Quite big, actually. It could to go past it on your right. The instructions in our booklet are a little... They leave a bit to the imagination. It's more like work out this riddle. Because there is a map bit, like a diagram bit, but there's also like loads of paragraphs of verbal instructions. So It said go over the style, but it didn't say whether it was to the left or right. But actually, there is only one, to be fair to it. I just want to climb up on these and have a look in it. Ooh. Careful. Oh, it's actually, I think it might be in use for sheep holding. Look, because uh, there's some sort of temporary fence in there. Oh, yeah, very interesting. Right, I'm holding IB up now. I'd better get back down here and try not to break my neck in the process. Rather than untie the gates, Imogen decided to climb over. He's doing the Oh, you wanted me to untie it so you could walk through it. <laughs> oh, there's some like old gatey bits here. I'm intrigued by those. God, there's loads of it. 
let's just have a quick look at those bits of iron there and see what that's all about maybe it's more modern to do with the sheep farming don't know i'm gonna get back to ib who's trying to fathom the cryptic directions we've come to another style and look i don't know what this means it's a slant at major saint donuts yeah get that bit but what's dim hole because the dim bit is like Welsh for nothing or no, is it sometimes? But hole is not Welsh, I don't know. But if you know, do feel free to let me know in the comments. Another field. There's a surprise. It's quite a long time later now. We've just both been bellowing mud, mud, glorious mud at the tops of our voices because there's nobody around for miles, I don't think. We've been through a succession of fields connected via stiles, which we've been climbing over. And we're trying to find the last field that's got that dovecot in that we went in by accident earlier because that should be at the end. We've kind of just got to a point where we're a little bit confused and lost. Mud, mud, glorious mud. Go on, IB, go on, let's have a song. Blood, blood, mud, mud, <laughs> glorious mud. Nothing quite like it for cooling the blood i forget the next bit so follow me follow down to the hollow where we shall wallow in glory of mud well that was a bit off pitch that uh, that bottom note <coughs> we can see our destination or at least we can see a a reference point on the map which means we're not entirely lost i think there's a style at the end as well to get to it there's definitely plenty of style in this field you know it's a, it's a vlog with a lot of style in it poo look we've just we've come off the mud ivy just did a great sentence off camera didn't you where he went oh tarmac not horrible cleat filling muddy earth that ram is coming over is like excuse me madam Put that camera away. My ladies like their privacy. Oh, there's a blue plaque. A blue plaque. Let's see what it says. Gate House, Tewkesbury Abbey Grange. This 14th century house afforded entry into a cluster of farm buildings belonging to the Grange of Tewkesbury Abbey. Oh, there's, there's that St. Ithlid's again. Oh yeah, I remember this static caravan. Nice plain sailing now. No more of those pesky styles. I have a problem with climbing the styles. I tend to keep my phone in that pocket there. <laughs> and it stops my leg being able to bend up properly to go with the styles. So I'm like, ooh, ooh, every single time. Going back up through the rather pretty looking lane. We are now leaving the train station and heading back home. Ooh. The historic streets of Lantern Major. Nothing coming. Girl, there's nothing coming. <laughs> I'm just starting to end the vlog and I'm just noticing there's quite a lot of Whoa. speed bumps. Um, maybe not the best time, but anyway, probably quite comical. If you have enjoyed today's video, could you please give it a thumbs up? This really helps the channel to grow. If you want to follow more of my adventures here in South Wales, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and uh, the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.